Okay, this is an unboxing of a Bader Hyperion or Hyperion eyepiece, which I'm going to do now. And I will test it immediately on this uh, Skywatcher Apochromatic Pro Series 80ED. Let's open and see. So, several layers of wrapping I've opened. Now, this is the last one. Then, we come to the box, actual box itself. So. Okay. This is the box for the Hyperion 68 degrees modular eyepiece. So. This is a 21 millimeter. And now I'm going to open it and see what is inside. Okay, oh, easy, open. Yeah, I like this one that open like that. Okay, usual uh, bag. It comes in a pouch of itself. Leather bag. Germans love leather, it seems. That's the eyepiece. And quite large islands. Oh, look at that big, massive lens. Just take a picture, a few pictures. Okay, now let's put the eyepiece inside the telescope. I'll put it in the, inside the two inch focuser part of it. And we look to it now. Okay, with the spacing between the eyepiece and the diagonal, it could not come to focus. So what I will do, I add this uh, one and a quarter inch uh, adapter and use the bother's one and a quarter barrel. Like this. And let's see if it brings you focus. We have no focus, that's really good, and uh, this is the Skywatcher EDAT, is a prochromatic telescope, and we go to, uh, to have a look. Beautiful image, good focus. The image is not flat, so you have distortion. But at the center is good. Very good, actually. I have to test it on the dark sky and the moon or other objects. In the daylight, it gives beautiful results. Okay, with these fast telescopes that I've used, uh, both of them refractors, Skywatcher ED-AT and Skywatcher 120 uh, achromatic, and that ED is uh, achromatic. Uh, the best images were with this, this, and this. It didn't give me ultra astro, ultra astro premium, didn't give me that uh, premium quality image and actually I can say that the center was good but the rest of the image had blue purple fringing even in this apochromatic telescope so I wonder if it is because it, it is a fast uh, a slow uh, yeah fast scope maybe in a slow scope like a Schmidt Cassegrain a mid uh, or Maxitov telescope it will give good results uh, I may test it later, but at the moment uh, I'm a little bit disappointed. It looks very beautiful, it almost looks like a Hyperion, it doesn't perform like a Hyperion. Surprise, surprise, these cheaper ones are 
or matching with the Hyperion. <laughs> Ostara and Star Guider.